can you actually afford to shoot film? In today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how much it's cost me to shoot film over the course of the past three years. If you get any useful information out of this video, please consider subscribing so that I can continue making these videos. I first started shooting film back in 2021, and during that year, I shot almost an entire roll every single week. Over the course of 2021, I shot 43 rolls of film. The total cost of all that film was $774. The total cost of developing all of that film was $688. So just the film and the development ended up costing me $1,462. I was lucky for that first year because I didn't actually have the expense of buying a new film camera because I was lucky enough that I was able to shoot with my dad's old Canon AE-1. But if you have to buy your own camera, you can get one of these Canons for anywhere from $100 to $300 on eBay. So let's assume a middle of the road $200 for convenience sake. This brings our total necessary cost for shooting film to $1,662. That includes film, development, and camera purchase. Now these next numbers are completely optional, but I've actually found that they are probably my favorite part about shooting film. First is prints. I love getting my photos printed, and oftentimes I'll get large prints of my friends to give them as birthday presents. So over the year, I spent about $85 on prints. The next thing was I put together a big photo book compiling all of my favorite images that I had shot throughout the year. This ended up being pretty expensive because I used high quality photo paper and had a ton of images in it. I ended up spending 275 on the final book for 2021. So my final number for shooting film in 2021 is $1,662 for film plus development. And I'm including a camera purchase price because most people aren't lucky enough to find one for free. Moving on to 2022, and I really dialed back how much film I was shooting. I was much more intentional with my film and only ended up shooting 24 rolls throughout the year. This brings us to a total cost of $456. I also found a new film lab to develop my film, and the total cost for development came to $385. I spent $40 on prints and $100 on the book, but I won't be including those in our final tally. During 2022, I also bought a new camera as well as some new lenses. I bought the Canon A1, a waterproof point and shoot camera for $280. I bought an 85 millimeter lens for $150, a 28 millimeter lens for $65, and a new 55 millimeter lens for $85. So our final tally for 2022 is $841 for film and development, plus $580 in new cameras and lenses. This gives us a grand total of $1,421. Now for 2023. This year I shot a total of 28 rolls at a cost of $360. Film development came out to $312. This gives us a total for $672 for film and development. Now one of my absolute biggest costs for 2023 was the fact that I bought a number of new cameras. I bought the Nikon F4 for $200. I also got an 85mm lens for the Nikon for $300, as well as a new zoom lens for $200. I also bought the Yashica Electro 35 GT for $250, and a Canon Canonet for $90. This brings my cost for new photography gear to $1,040. So in total, for 2023, I spent $672 on film and development and $1,040 on new toys. This gives us a grand total of $1,712. So how much did I spend over the course of my first three years of shooting film? I ended up shooting 95 rolls in total. I spent $1,462 in 2021, $1,421 in 2022, and $1,712 in 2023. This is a grand total of $4,595.
not including photo prints and books because you might not be interested in doing that sort of thing. But I definitely recommend it because to be honest, that's my absolute favorite part about doing photography is getting them printed and being able to have them in physical form to show to people or to give them as gifts. I hope this little video helped you decide whether or not you're actually going to get into film photography. Let me know if you have any questions about getting into or shooting film. And if you're interested about getting to know more about what my new favorite film camera is, take a look at this video here where I show you everything I know about the Nikon F4. It's an absolute beast and honestly, you should buy it because it's perfect.